What's up, guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Mad Max. Let's continue. He murdered them. Screwed us. I will have his blood. Yeah, I figured this was going to go in a revenge direction. I must find him. And end him. Oh, where is he? Nobody knows where he goes. Not to say that only his war boys know his patterns. His zip hearts and desperate unholy mutations. Hold on. Curse is stuck again. Every time I go to that. Pick up, slide down. Organic mechanics. He called himself Scab. Was a war boy, he said. Was with Scrotus. He said so. Thought that was a sniper tower. And he will tell me. I don't know why I so frequently have trouble like panning and doing the right thing here. I'm always messing up. Oh, we did have a sniper over there. Okay, well, one thing at a time, I suppose. That was pretty legit. I like the style that went into that one. It was almost like a little half pipe thing where you're like, yeah, up on the side. Okay, so where's the lead slinger at? There he is. I needed to shine off his... I don't think we can actually... Oh, we got one right there. Is that an outpost right there? I can't tell. It didn't give us anything down for killing that guy, so he must be... Yeah, he's tied to an outpost. Alright, let's go wipe out a gas camp then. Why not? Hold on. We got a whole bunch of defenses though. Oh shit, I hit the wrong button again. This is my life. I would like to be moving. There you go. Well, camp's alerted. We in trouble now. We in trouble now, G. Unless we can get this wiped out real quick style. See if I can get this little asshole. Oh, I think I missed. Yep. I don't think I got him. Ah, we just caught another mortar to the face. Tell you what, these mortar guys are pretty good at what they do. Alright, perimeter defense is down right there. I think we've got maybe one more sniper to deal with. Yeah, we got him over there. Actually, just get out of the car. Get out of the car. Oh, you messed up now, amigo. You messed up now. Okay, so I just wanted to shoot him with a shotgun. I was feeling it. I was feeling the shotgun deep down inside my soul. The ass whooping that's going to occur right now is monumental. You realize you are the first bad guys that I have met since somebody like murdered my almost family that I denied and didn't want to hang out with anymore. Stab you right there. Weirdly enough. Oh no, it killed him. Okay, I was going to say, he seems really, really, really... Are you immortal? Like, what are you, a vampire or something? Stab you in the neck with a knife and you don't fall down? It's crazy. Stab me in the neck with a knife, I'll fall down for sure. I am done. I no longer want to play if it's me. Nope. Not today. Not splatter. So where's the front door to this BZ? Looks like I just walked through the side right there. This is a really small oil camp, by the way. Unless it, like, sprawls out in another direction. Turn on a lamp real fast. Have trouble with the darkness and also the washed out stuff in this game. Consistently. Do you, though? Only four scrap right there. It looks like there's actually 11 spots, which is quite a bit. Let's go ahead and Jimmy Jack this open real fast. Try it for yourself. Jimmy Jack your friends. Do whatever you want. It might make you feel better. Destroy this insignia as well. I think there's probably still one or two more achievements in there for us. I don't have any gas tanks, though, so we may actually have to find the central location where they drop off all the gas tanks and then work from there. A little bit of scrap on this side and a gas tank right there. Go ahead and grab this guy. Oh, good. That's a respawner, too. You can tell because it leaves a little ghostly shadow afterwards. So we got a transfer tank over here. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. That was an accident. I don't know. I'm having an off day right now. Don't judge me. I'm having an off day. Like, for realsies. It's a very, very real off day. Internet goes out for like a day and a half, can't do any work, and then all of a sudden when you get back to work, you feel all weird and lethargic, and you're just like, I have stuff that I know I have to do, but I'm not sure how I'm going to get it together. 
There we go. That objective's now down. And there was no way out over here, right? This was a dead end. Okay, that's just what I wanted to make sure about. So we can either go... Actually, I think our only way out of here is going to be to the left, maybe. Oh, no, this is just like a little background area. Never mind. I don't know what I'm talking about. I just make shit up. Nobody pays attention to me. This guy over here. Get him before anything else goes wrong. Yep, I killed your drummer, man. What are you going to do now? However shall you keep beat. Maybe you should invest in a metronome. Might make your life a little bit easier. Instead of always relying on others the whole time for you. Drummers are a crutch. Somebody got to get whooped right now. I would love to take this weapon from you as well. It would fill my heart with many sweet, endearing feelings. Oh, he got me from off camera. Got me from off camera. It's always those off camera hits, isn't it? Viewers right now are like, no, it's not always off camera hits. Sometimes off camera, I mean frequently on camera hits are the ones that get you. So, no, I don't think it's just that. We need some like regenerative abilities that you get when you're like up at the top. Maybe it's because my canteen was full at that previous location. Maybe that's what my issue was. Apparently, I just learned something. You can't activate your flashlight while you're drinking out of a canteen. So, lessons learned. Our health bar is so huge now, though, that our canteen doesn't even fill it all up. I will take the weapon, but I'm going to pick the one that I like best out of all of these because I am somewhat of a perfectionist when it comes to awesome weapon. I'm going to take this one right here. Got a little bit right there. I was hoping they would drop a little bit more loot, but I guess it's not going to play like that for me. I will take this ammo, and then we'll break this guy right here real quick. Sounds like there's somebody waiting for us, but I don't know where he's at. Gotta be around somewhere. Got a transfer tank on that side. But kind of a weird way to get it in there. Can I blow the door? Let's find out. Like, it's a magical world. You can blow anything you want. That's the fun part of being an adult. And I'd be like, okay. Oh, did it get it? Nope, definitely didn't get it. They want me to throw that through that hole right there. That seems really, really risky. Oh, cool. I did it on the first try. I'm so proud of myself right now. That almost never happens on this channel. Usually I have to be like, well, let me edit so I don't look like an idiot for 25 minutes. Ow! Somebody hit me with a shit sack. There it is. Gotta break that guard. Man, you guys are just soaking. Soaking so many punches right now. I hate that, that they can hit you while you're in the middle of that animation. Like, I know in real life you could, but in terms of video games and movies, usually it's better to suspend belief briefly and kind of I don't know, make it susceptible to Kung Fu movie syndrome where while you're executing the big cinematic moves or whatever, nobody else can hit you. Because actually there's no way for you to trigger that or guess that it's going to happen. It just sort of happens when it happens. And so it actually happens at really inopportune times sometimes. Another transfer tank down. It's going to give us four out of seven. I wanted to do a lot more of the side objectives, but I always feel bad about doing side objectives in this game because I really think people are just like, and they get all upset about it. They're like, okay, you've been blowing up transfer tanks now for like five episodes. Like, yeah, I know, but it's so satisfying to blow shit up. Don't you enjoy blowing shit up? I love blowing shit up. If I can blow things up, that's half the reason I enjoy this game is just the sheer amount of explosions. Also, it's a game where Australia takes like center stage, which is rare. You don't get that. I've been waiting for an Outback survival game since like forever because I would love to learn like aboriginal tricks and stuff like that. It's not something I'm exposed to. Most of the stuff that I know from my survival books and survival practice are like Native American type stuff. And those are strongly, strongly susceptible to like regional variances. So like certain tips are only useful in certain environments. Ramming restricted on that gate. Okay, so apparently there was a gate that you could get through, but I have explosives. I have a secret. I am fueled by the power of hatred and anger. That actually didn't do that much damage. It's a pretty well-constructed gate. 
Given the circumstances, I think they did a good job with it. I think that probably just gets me the hell out of here. Damn. Still ain't broke it none. That's all we got, huh? Guess that's all we got. We got the two fuel tanks over there. Let's see if we can find a way into a different area. You don't mess with the gate anymore. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's that guy over there who's throwing stuff. Okay. Oh, I'm coming, amigo. I'm coming. You better get ready for it. It's about to be on. You might be good at blocking, but you ain't no Minecrafter. You better figure it out. Is he down? We good? I think he's down. I'd like it if it gave you some kind of kill notification, too. Just little things that I would add. Like, over on the right-hand side of the screen, it would be like, kill, plus one or something. This counted as part of, like, a kill streak or something like that. I could still use the ammo from here. There's a little bit of food right there. Final couple transfer tanks appear to be in this vicinity somewhere. So my guess is that we got to drop through the roof at some point. We got a sniper out there super deep who I thought I already shot, but I need water first. So let's go ahead and refill the water tank quick before we do anything else. Oh, that's actually not going to give us... Well, with all of our upgrades and whatnot, that went a lot further than I expected it to go. So that's good. Now then. I think we came in from over there, maybe. Which means that now, we got to drop down in here. Are those stairs? Oh, good, they're stairs. I love stairs, except for when I'm out in public and people are making fun of me. That makes me... Oh, we got gimpies. Ow. And they do front flips. Ah, no. Hate these damn things. Ah. Hate those things so much. In any group larger than one, they are just the worst. They are a pain. Who's in the cage? A torso. That's it. A torso. Probably need explosives to get that open. Which means that this is going to be sketchy because we don't want to blow up all the other shit. But we probably will. So I think the other tank's probably going to go when this goes. Yeah, that was a pretty big explosion. That'll do it. If you're into explosions. You know, we never worry about shrapnel in video games. You ever think about that? We're blowing up all kinds of like random metal tanks. You figure shrapnel will catch you every now and again. Maybe that's why you take damage from the explosions. It's not just your hair getting burned off. Gotta figure out what we have in here. I think there's three tanks left. Did we destroy four or five? Either way, add two more to the pile. Oh, good. That was the last one. So now we're up and out of here. We are up and out. It's Hell's Grill. And we took care of it. Ain't no grilling going on no mo. And so we got insignias. We got scrap. Looking good. Somebody should move in and start to feed us even more scrap. Threat should go down slightly. Probably not by much, though, because we're already in the lower echelons of threat anyways for this area. Once you get past, like, four, once you get down to three-ish, that's when it all kind of just becomes suspect. I think the way out of here is just going to be to jump the fence. I don't really care about these, like, the insignias and all the other random little things that we could run off in here. Not a big deal to me. Were there not so many collectibles in this game, I would probably care more. But there's just so many, and I am not that guy. Oh, there's a Scrotus Insignia right there. Well, shit, might as well get it. Yay, Scrotus Insignia destroyed. I'm not going to get in on the wrong side of the car. I promise you, I will not be that guy today. I'm going to get in on the right side of the car. There it is. I got it on the right side of the car. So does that clear the map out of, like, all the quests that we had? Because Crow Dazzle's car, we've got... Oh, we do have side quests around, don't we? Okay, well, let's go do Gut Gash first. I guess. I mean, I haven't really helped out with this territory hardly at all. So maybe we'll have time to do something while we get down in here. A little bit bummed out today. You guys know that my addiction to Pepsi is like a very, very... It's a real thing in my life that pretty much dictates the flow of my daily work schedule. And unfortunately, I have not had any of it today. 
I can feel myself decaffeinating as we speak. Oh, he's up above us. Let's say, where did he go? Where did the big flame throne go? Oh, we're not in deep fries. We're in. It took me too long to figure that out. We're not in deep fries. Do I have any of the upgrades here? Like, am I able to do any of these? Looks like the answer would be no, but at least I got all my thunder poons back because I know we were lacking those, so. As long as we can hold our own once we go up against any of those random little patrols that are around, I think that'll help out slightly. It's murder. Your deeds here have prepared us for what's ahead. And in the nick of time, war boys have been sighted, prepping most likely for an assault on our beloved ship. They're coming! Stay coming, it's wrong! The standoff is upon us! If you help, we might stand a fighting chance. Okay, we got the two up bump bars. Oh, that'll be badass. Warboys are preparing a convoy of explosive trucks. Take out the convoy before... Oh, shit. Okay, so we gotta do a convoy. Actually, that sounds like fun. Get some more hood ornament sounds really, really cool. Hopefully they give me enough time to get back to my car. I don't like it when things are weirdly balanced like that. I think the last game I played where something like that happened was... God, what was the name of that fan? There was a... Wait, do I not fight out here? Oh, I gotta go over there and talk to him. Okay, well, apparently I'm gonna be shooting or doing something. Project rewards ready in 24 minutes. Sounds good to me. I could definitely use some more scrap and cash. Get the car upgraded a little bit further. Although at this point, you would think to what extent, because every time we upgrade something at this point, it's also downgrading other things. There's a convoy coming. Fuel truck is the lead car. Two more dust clouds beyond it. Figure they fixing to blow up our gate. Okay. Does he want me to equip it right now, or do we actually get to leave now? I really don't think in an apocalypse things would be this bad. Human beings are pretty good at creating little societies. And society's like the one that stank gum and everybody else have created out here. They're not sustainable. You can't have, like... Alright. Should I do that right now? You probably want me to do that right now, don't you? So we got the two bump bars. It's gonna cost us... Oh, wow, okay. It uses significant weight, though, which is kind of... Yeah, it hurt our handling, and it really, really, really... Oh, that looks badass, though. Hurt our handling, and it hurt our acceleration. We've got nitrous. Ain't nobody need acceleration when you got nitrous. Let's get out here and handle this shit. Where are these kids at? I concur. Let's do this thing. I got thunder poons aplenty. I'm ready to dish out some pain. Got a scarecrow over there too. So where are they at? Looks like they're moving. Oh, there they are right there. Let's see if we can get in here. Apparently I took a wrong turn at Albuquerque. See if I can get up on him before shit goes wrong here. I would truly and deeply prefer to blow this little asshole up. Oh, they're coming from the other side? Oh, and they all just kind of go limp afterwards. This would be one of those situations where the scrap crew would help. Stop the second attack. Wow, they start out pretty close. Okay. That's alright. As long as they make me aware of it, it doesn't bother me that much. There it is. Get up off my road.
That's it? Just those two? Oh. Fine by me. Ain't hurting my feelings none. You pretty good ramming damage now that we got that grilly thing. Let me see if I can get out from under this asshole. There we go. Outturned him. Beat him in his own game. I think he's trying to fix us with the grinders for right now. Is that it? He down? Oh, we got more over here too. Oh, they're running away. These dudes don't want to fight. You don't want none. He's like, nope, we up out of here. I just thought you demolished like 16 cars. I don't think I want to play anymore. I don't think I want to play anymore. Let's go find a convoy, yeah? Convoy sounds pretty good. Go find and blow up a... Actually, there's one right behind us. We might as well do that one. I only got five Thunder Poons left, but I'm actually pretty confident with my ramming skills at this point. I feel like the car gets things done. Yeah, get that thing desmokeified and let's get it rolling. Keep an eye out for this convoy. Probably use the Thunder Poons to get rid of a couple of the guys. And then after that, we'll just ram the rest of them as best we can. Is that the convoy right there? That is not the convoy. Damn, that was a ramming. Flipped his punk ass. Let me see if I can get a wheel off this guy. Apparently, you can't rip off his grill, which surprises me. There we go. That'll do it. While we wait, I don't care about doing just like vehicular combat out here. It doesn't bother me a smidge. Another one bites the dust. Insert bada bump 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 as you see fit. Still not seeing our convoy though. Normally you can see a big cloud of dust and smoke behind it in case you just like jumped into the series now. You can normally tell where the convoys are at because they put off a bunch of smoke. Then again, being up and out of my vehicle when the convoy arrives either is not going to really be super helpful, but scrap is scrap, I suppose. Wish I knew which way the convoy flowed. There he is. Give me the poonies. Let's do this thing. Alright, it's time for some Road Warrior combat. Let's do this thing. We got one guy right there. Let me go ahead and give him the poon. Our light heat sinking capabilities. Give him a little bit of a ramming. See if I can get rid of that front car. And if I can, I ain't gonna feel guilty. Convoy's off the road. As soon as those poons are up, go ahead and get fitted. Looks like he's actually stalled out or something over there. Let's try and give him a little bit more loving, shall we? Actually. Oh, that didn't work. Okay, so that was a waste of a poon. I mean, he can ram all he wants. I don't think it's going to help. Let's see if I can get it from out in between those two, because that's a kill zone. There it is. There goes his health. God, I love those little rippers. God, I love them. Give me the harpoon back. Go ahead and deny him a tire, and then I got to turn right there to get up out of the way. It's weird how intuitive all the driving and shit becomes after you play for a little while. Start to get a feel for it. Oh, we got more friends coming in. Oh, shit. Yeah, she's whooped. She is definitely bit. Oof. Jesus. Get in the car. Oh my god. We are just getting our asshole rammed off right now. Alright, you ain't get to play no more. I 
I uh, can't really get anything done with him. However, the less cars we have to deal with, the better, so... We go ahead and see what's accomplishable here. Ah, I was trying to get him, but I think he got me on that one. That guy is ready for a harpoon. Ah... Uh, not good, not good, not good. There you go, another vehicle down so that we only have to deal with the one. If we have to deal with him at all. Sounds like he's got grinders though, so we gotta be careful. Harpoon him real fast. Take that turn with the boost. Scrape him off on his own vehicle right there. And then come back around. <laughs> Alright. I think we managed. Get the vehicle fixed. Grab that hood ornament real quick. So it's a baby head. I'll look at it in a minute. We can put it on no matter where we are anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. I'm going to scrap out this little area. And from there, I'm going to go get my ordinance refill because I think we're going to need it for the next episode. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Mad Max. I will see you all in future episodes. Hi, do everybody, and I'll see you. I would like you to shoot that fuel tank, please. There we go. Hi, do everybody.